I did. I had a big year because I got engaged, and then two days later, I turned 30. Yeah. <laughs> really uh, snuck that one in under the wire. <laughs> it's funny because half of you are like, oh my god, no, stop it. You're still so young. And then the other half of you um, are like, you do know 35 is considered a geriatric pregnancy, right? <laughs> And that's the thing about 30, like you're squarely in the middle, because I'm not young, but I'm also not old. I'm like, I'm like an in-between ager, you know? <laughs> it's funny, it, no really, because like look, like I'm young enough that I'm still up to date with pop culture, but old enough to hate all of it. <laughs> like, like I know every lyric to the song WAP. <laughs> I would never sing it in public. <laughs> <laughs> or like, um, oh, like I watched the new Gossip Girl, I got invested in the parent storylines. <laughs> 30 is a funny age because like, I don't, I don't feel like it's weird that I'm on TikTok, but I don't understand anything they say on there. <laughs> like Gen Z will post, like comment on my post, a single skull emoji. <laughs> like what? Like, like are you laughing so hard you're dead? <laughs> or like is my comedy so bad it's dead? Or are you just a pirate? <laughs> oh, also tell me this. How do you get dressed to be 30 years old? Because I feel like my options are either pledging a sorority or dropping my twins at soccer practice. <laughs> I need someone to make a Forever 31. <laughs> but you know what? They're not going to do it. Because no one would want to be 31 forever. 